we're at a church location that is the setting for the opening of the, of the show. You know, hopefully when you watch it the first time, you're thinking, oh, I'm in the apocalypse, and then you start seeing it through different eyes, that this is a, a shooting gallery. This is a crack house. Maria Queso is the production designer. You're not imagining anything gross and disgusting and scary because it's in there. It smells horrible. Like, it smells like dead people. We're shooting anamorphic lenses with an Alexa HD camera. So we're gonna have a big cinematic look. Whoa. What they're doing with me right here is what's gonna look like, you know, I just got my whole face just ripped off. They airbrushed a bunch of paint on me, put on some scabs. They gave me a fake tattoo on my back. I'm one of those edgy walkers. <laughs> you, want to, you want to do one more rehearsal of that? Yeah. Let's do one more. We gotta go. We... Somebody who's very dear to him has turned, but he doesn't quite know what that means yet. He jumps down. He's on the run. We got tracking shots. We got rolling. We needed something that's sort of a, an exclamation point for the end of the sequence and something that would launch us into series. And action! Out of nowhere, a car just takes him out of frame, <laughs> which I do by putting him on two separate tables to give him a little bit of a rise. Scooter! Boom. It is fast, it is violent, and this actor did about, I don't know, six, seven takes of this, and he kept saying, you can pull me harder, you can pull me harder. Then they mounted cameras on the car and inside the car, and we put a stuntman standing on the hood. So you're gonna hit more on your shoulder then. Oh, like that. And on a certain action cue, he throws himself back into the windshield just as the driving stuntman slams on his brakes, throwing him into the street. We are on the 710 freeway. We've shut down a stretch of the freeway near Pasadena. Starts off with our two main characters in their car and suddenly becomes this bigger, larger thing. The challenge of shooting it from a production side where we have moving vehicles, we have stunts, we have gunfire, we have a helicopter that's being shot as a helicopter, but also using that same helicopter to get aerial photography from. The victim of the car crash is taken out, put on a gurney. And action. He ends up biting the face of one of the paramedics. He bites one of the cops, and then they pull their guns out and shoot him. And he doesn't die. This is one of the first times that we're going to actually see in open public that the dead are coming back to life. And what the audience will know, what lies ahead, is the rise of the undead.